This is the first week since she was a month old that Lucy Boucher will only need to go to hospital once. Since suffering heart and kidney failure, she's been kept alive by dialysis until she was big enough to have a transplant two months ago. What did Daddy give you? A kidney. And, my tummy. Yeah, and how do you, how do you feel? <laughs> Transplanting a fully grown adult's kidney into a toddler is tricky. Often open chest surgery is needed just to find out if the organ will fit. But not this time. Surgeons at Great Ormond Street Hospital were able to precisely plan the procedure using a 3D printed model of Lucy's insides and her dad's kidney. This is a 3D print of uh, Lucy's father's kidney. This is the right kidney that we printed. And as you can see quite clearly, um, this is the problem that we're facing sometimes, is to fit an adult-sized kidney into a small child. In this case, we had to um, essentially move the liver up slightly like this, so it was fitting in like that. It's the first time in the world this technology has been used to help a kidney transplant. It's quite a thing to get around that, you know, part of Chris is marrying Lucy and obviously doing very, very well. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it was fascinating to see and to hold them and to see how both were going to fit together. Both father and daughter are now recovering well and Lucy has been a model patient. I was really wiped out for the first couple of weeks whereas within a week or so Lucy was bounding around everywhere. You know, literally bouncing on the bed, you know, running around. Yeah. What's an airplane do? <laughs> Doctors say this is just the start for pioneering printing in medicine. The next step is to try and actually grow an organ uh, using 3D bioprinting and there are various laboratories around the world trying to explore that possibility. So that really is the next big step. Um, we're a few years probably away from that. Lucy has more immediate plans, starting nursery next year and looking forward to a new healthy chapter in her life. All by herself. Look at me, she shouts, I'm scared.